Yeah, that's great. Um, Jess or moderators, am I supposed to have lights on so y'all can see me or can I just tap in? Go ahead, tap your friend a little. All right. Fair enough. All right. I have a uh, female energy. I want to say Caucasian, dark hair. Look like um, she wanted to. I think she wear her hair curly. I don't see it as straight. Um, and she does have it like a very long bang over her forehead. Have a long bang over her forehead, but her hair is kind of curly, but it's really long. She feels young to me. She feels young. And when I say young, I mean like, um, I feel like she kind of transitioned during her prime. She couldn't be um, older than uh, being in the age in the 40s. She couldn't be older than that. She looks young. She feels young to me, but um, I don't believe she transitioned past that time frame. Uh, due to illness, I would say um, <clears throat> she was already pretty petite, but I feel like she lost weight towards the end. I want, I want to say, uh, it was probably cancer related because um, I see her now in a hospital gown, um, bald. I want to say two kids, but um, I, I for sure see a little boy. Of course, the little boy would be older now, but I see a little boy. He's probably the baby. Does this resonate with anyone so far? 
I want to say it's a, a Caucasian woman, dark hair. She wore it long, kind of curly, not tight curls, very loose curls, possibly with a bang. Um, petite, but she lost even more weight um, right before she transitioned, possibly due to illness. I want to say cancer because I don't know no other way why um, she would lose weight that fast, as well as um, either her hair was shedding or she cut it off bald. Possibly two children, um, two or three, but right now uh, there seems to be a emphasis on a little boy. Okay. If no one can uh, take the information, I'll let go of the energy. I don't feel like she's family either. I feel like this is somebody's friend. The only reason um the only reason I, I I feel like it's a friend because there's a reference to the movie uh Beaches. This is probably before some of y'all time, but I hear the the song to Beaches. Recap. Um I have a feminine energy. I want to say Caucasian, but she's really light. I feel like she's Caucasian or she can pass for Caucasian. Um, dark hair, long. Her hair looked looks curly, like loose, long curls, uh, possibly with a bang. She transitioned, I feel like, in her prime. Couldn't be older. She's like in her 40s. Possibly two to three children, but there's an emphasis on a little boy. And I feel like this is somebody's friend only because now there's a reference to the movie Beaches. I don't know if you guys um, know that, but I hear the song under the boardwalk, down by the sea. That that song was in the movie. That's probably before some of y'all time. It's all right. Mm -hmm. Got a song stuck in my head. All right, so let me let this energy go. <laughs> um, let me let this energy go, and then I'll put this in a uh, I'll put this somewhere on the Discord. Yeah, that song is um which is which is kind of funny, Jen, because that song <laughs> still hear it, so yeah. Little Disney Radio. I only know it um I only know that slow version because of the movie. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, so let me try one more time and then we'll see.
All right. Okay, I have a male energy. I have a male energy and he's, uh, this is an adult male. Again, someone uh, can't be older in their 40s, beard, short beard. Feels kind of like, um, like trying to grow it out or something. I want to say Caucasian male or like. Or Latin, kind of looks Latin with that beard. Um, very nice smile. His eyes are like a dark brown. Cause he's like, uh, I feel like he's in my face. Emphasis like on his smile and his eyes. Um, I see like him transitioning, so maybe possibly had uh, long hair, pulled it back in a ponytail. And then I guess he was going through his maturing phase or something because he ended up cutting his hair. He looks good in both ways, if you ask me. Couldn't be any taller than six feet. He's giving me average height. So possibly 5'8", five 5'9". Five Does this resonate with anybody so far? This is a male, um, possibly Caucasian or Latin. With the beard, he looks more Latin to me. Um, possibly transitioned within his 40s. Honestly, I, I want to say I hear 45 or 49. I'm trying to make clear of it. Mm. Possibly five eight five nine. And there's some kind of connection to an Eric. I can't tell if that's his name or he's connected to an Eric. Mm -hmm. I feel like um, it was probably not probably. I want to say Texas. There's also a connection to Texas. Does this resonate with anybody? Mm -hmm. I'm still thinking about that song. Texas and Eric. 
Okay. Um, I have a, a male. Uh, he's either uh, possibly Caucasian or looks like with his beard, this low beard, I feel like he looks Latin. And I'm, I feel like, let me just stick to Latin because this beard, you know, very handsome. Um, average height, I would say 5'8", five, 5'9", five, dark hair, low beard, by the way, or goatee. Is that how they call it? When it goes around the face and has, it connects. Um, I feel like he had long hair because I'm seeing him in two ways and then he cut it as he got older could it be beyond i'm hearing the numbers 45 and 49 so i don't know if that's an age reference or just numbers that should mean something but i also hear eric <laughs> i keep hearing the name eric i don't know if that's his name or he's connected to an eric and there's um this huge not huge, but I, I I keep hearing Texas as well. Now I also um, see a huge eighteen wheeler. I don't know why. So maybe this area in Texas is close to where truck. That's kind of vague. I feel like. Um, but I, I do see a truck as well. Fair enough. Thank you, Maya. I feel like there's a truck involved. And he's like literally trying to get me to hold on to him. So let me um see if I can pull something more evident. Okay. Guess you could take some of this. Like on a percentage scale. What can you take on a percentage scale? Like, I can take like one or two items not being it because it's a little blurry. I feel like he's traveling with me, like he travels. Okay. Because I don't know how any of this connect. You mind telling me? Um, he says, I can take some of this. I can't take one or two items. Well, that's fine. I have no idea how any of this connects. But he refuses to kind of like, like, I, I want to say I want to pull back because I'm like, okay, well, you know, nobody can take the energy. And he's like, no, no, no. <laughs> so he also is a little persistent. And I don't know why I'm also drawing mountains. I just realized that looking at my paper, I normally scribble, scribble. My mom and dad's friend was named Eric in Texas. My dad was. Oh, shit. Wait, am I allowed to cuss on him? Um. Yeah, cause I don't. I have no idea what any of like what any of this means together. Okay. Can you um? Can you come up? And then I'll turn on the light because I'm I'm just going to um stop here. Oof! I'm like, what does this have to do with each other? Can you can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, so um, 
I don't recall ever meeting this man, but I know that he, um, I want to say he was of some type of, uh, Hispanic descent. Um, I can't confirm that at the moment because my mom's asleep, but I can talk to her tomorrow. Okay. Um, he ended up going to prison, um, but he used to make me these really beautiful leather bags. Um, and, like, when you look at them, like, you just, they were handmade. I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. I don't even have a picture of them, but they were really beautiful. And they were small, like, definitely made for me. Um, my father was a truck driver, um, and they lived in Texas at the time. Um, and I know he was really, really good friends of theirs. Like, I remember finding letters that he had written them. Um, I don't remember what else you said. Um, is, does mountains, does mountains mean anything? Like, I didn't realize I drew so many mountains on my paper. <laughs> um, well, my I'm dad and like... drove everywhere, but, um, connected to, to, um, the man specifically, I'm not sure. Um, but I, I know that connected to my father, what the mountains mean. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I don't. Um, I don't feel like he has a a message of any kind. It was just more so like he was just trying to make himself known. He's here. That's um. That's so wild. Yeah. I haven't thought about him or the bags or any of that in forever. Yeah, it's it's just um. He was giving me more so the impression like he went. You know how somebody walks into a room and they need everybody to know they're there, but nobody right. was really looking for them? That's how it felt. Like, he's like, no, <laughs> like, you can see me. So and he was just adamant about, wait, 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 don't go. There's somebody here. So I'm like, uh, okay. But no, I don't, I don't have a message. It's more so I'm here and just making his uh, presence known. That's how it feels. Okay. I will definitely let my mom know because I know that she'll be able to provide more validation. Um, Because okay. I was a baby. Oh, wow. Baby when I saw him um, or when I met him. So I don't even remember him, but I remember the stories of him and the items that he made and sent. That's, that's crazy. All right. Well, thank you, Jess. Um, thank you. Of course, you'll let me know when you talk to your mom. <laughs> Oh man, so yes, let's put some hearts in the chat for Jess. That's probably your godfather. Oh shit. That's... Now I'm about to find out. <laughs> yeah, because I'm like, was he a godfather? Why is he making you stuff? And it was just, that's what I heard when you said the little purses. I'm like, godfather? Okay. Hey, well, hey, me know. I'm, I'm really going to have to find out. I will definitely let you know tomorrow. Okay. All right, I'm going to stop right here to let other people up, guys. This was a little bit nerve-wracking for me. All right. You did great. You did amazing. Oh, thank you so much. Um, hold on. So do I just get down? Yeah, you can drop down. I'll bring... Um, next up, we have Tanya. Tanya, all right. Bye, everyone. Tanya, are you still doing wheel spinner? Yes, please. Okay. Can you guys, whoever would like to be on the wheel spinner, please drop your name in the chat and I will get that going. Thank you. Hi, people. I'm trying to get back to my screen because I can't see nothing. Oh, my goodness. There it is. Hi, guys. While Jessica's figuring out the wheel spinner, I just want to tell y'all, thank y'all so much for coming and saying hi in my lives this week. Especially my teachers, Ernie and Tiff, that I wasn't looking for y'all to come, but here y'all was. And I was like, oh, my teacher's here. Y'all, my teacher here. <laughs> there she is in the chat, right there. <laughs> Hi, 
my epic nurse, Olivia, right? I did not know that you were in here until like a couple of minutes ago. Thank you for stopping by the live and I'm glad to see you in the Discord too. Yay! You're even more amazing, Tiff. Even more. Take it, double it, and pass it to the next person. Right back on Tiff. <laughs> oh, my camera's supposed to be on too, huh? My bad, y'all. I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm going to take the audience out of my screen because y'all going to make me nervous. I'm watching the chat because I'm trying to see when Jess is going to post the wheel spinner results. I am here, Shar. I'm actually kind of nervous. Like, super duper. Like, how I was the first time. Like, super, super nervous. Now, I can be nervous. Dang, Rita. <laughs> Dang, I miss it. What's the time frame to get? Uh, it wasn't long. Probably about 45 seconds. <laughs> Miss Glenda, how are you? Do you want to come up here or do you want to type in the chat? To be honest, it's probably going to be easier for you to come up. Oh, hey, Miss. Hey. Hey. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I am good. I am good. I have already did my little pre-preparation thing and... You know, all the angels and the archangels and right. and source and all of that good stuff. So we just going to dive right in if that's okay with you. That's fine with me. Um, Are you in a position where you can throw your camera on for me or not really? Not really. Okay. It's okay. I will I will do it without it. I just, it's, sometimes it's I'm a little sorry. easier. Okay. I promise. It's okay. You might hear some scribble scrabble. That's just me scribbling on the paper so I can keep my hands busy, okay? Okay. Okay, let's see. What's popping for Miss Glenda? I swear to If y'all can't see me, I'm sorry. I'm still trying to readjust Linda, pull a deep breath for me, please. I will make sure what he discovers. What are you nervous for? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we both up here nervous. <laughs> Okay, the first thing I'm seeing is Glenda is a hospital bed. It's um, a male in the bed. I'm going to say this male energy because I'm seeing the male in the I'm not seeing a bunch of like tubes and wires and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. These are the biggest. Does this resonate with you at all, Miss Linda? Do you want to just probably? <laughs> Mm 
Um, um so I heard uh, you know, she named like Clayton. Like that. I didn't hear what you said. Sound. Oh, my initial thought was C. C. Mm. Did you say a C name? Yes, ma'am. Okay. It's, it's, this is wild because it's almost like I'm looking at him actually cross over and I need him to take me back the other way. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like it, it's wild though. Like I, I, it's like I can see him like walking through the clouds to people and that's what kind of makes me think like this is like the moment that the transition was happening. Mad cow? Mad cow. Um. Something about a cow. Cow is very clear. But my thought process was like mad cow. Um, it is a disease. I don't, I don't know the specifics on it as to if humans can actually get that or not. If it's who I think it is, he was crazy. <laughs> okay, don't give me no, no, no more info, Miss. Okay, sorry. Was he like a rancher or like? A farm worker of some sort, because I'm seeing him. No. I'm seeing a male in like, you know, like jeans and like that, you know, them button up shirts mm -hmm. and button up like plaid shirt. Like he's giving heavy Montana rancher energy. <laughs> and Montana may not be where he's from, but when I look at a person like that, that's what I would equate it to. Does that resonate? No. Nevada. That's what I just heard. No. <laughs> I'm seeing horses.
is that? I'm not seeing it. Where did it go? Okay, this is gonna sound like a weird question, right? But okay. does a backwards three make any kind of sense to you? Backwards. I'm dyslexic. I'm dyslexic with numbers. Because uh, I'm like I'm seeing a three, but it's flipped the opposite way. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I'm like I don't know. If that's supposed to make sense of that, but. <laughs> Okay, so thank you for letting me know that I am in your energy. Yes. Maybe, I think. Like, that's the number that I heard. Mm -hmm. That I seen, I should say. Okay, I'm back at the hospital bed. Now I see... Um, like the oxygen thing that go on your mm -hmm. nose, not the mm -hmm. mask, but the little thing that just the 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 tubing one, right? The bed is like very near. The window, very near or next to, I can't tell which. It doesn't feel like I'm in a hospital. So the bed could be, you know, at home or. Seeing, I'm seeing a flower. I'm just, I can't. I'm trying to make out what kind of flower it is. Seems to be like a tulip or a daisy or something like that. Like, was he artistic? No. He had creative, like, so he might have been creative in some kind of a way. Yeah. Something with his hands, like I see him like preparing, maybe preparing to build something or do something with his hands. Like I'm seeing like what the things called, like two by fours. Mm -hmm. No.
Okay, question. Okay. For to be like how much of this information actually does resonate with you? The hospital bed, the C name, um, um being creative, I guess, would be his intelligence. Okay, um, now, now I hear Charles. Hmm? I said, now I hear Charles. So again, with the C name. It's a C name, but not Charles. I think there may be a um a daughter also connected somehow. Or a daughter or somebody. I like okay, let me put it let me okay, I'm gonna tell you how I hear it, right? <laughs> The name I'm hearing is Becky. Can I say a name? Can you no? Just in case, don't. If okay. you say no, just in case, um, I okay. pull it. Hold on to it though. Okay. Seeing a flag like on the pole, like I see the whole thing, the pole and the flag. I'm going to see if he's got a message. That's going to I'm here. I'm here. Now, you may not know the song, but I'm. <laughs> Y'all gonna laugh at the chat when I tell you too. Um, I'm hearing this train go keep on rolling. <laughs> this thing called life go keep on going. But it's not like that's not how the message is coming across. Like, that's the song. Like, that's how he's giving it to me through that song. And it, the feeling of the message feels more like don't, like, don't let life pass you by. Like, that's how it feels. It doesn't feel like you're about to break up with somebody or something. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's it's like yeah, don't let life pass you by. You still gotta roll with the punches.
Does the um do you remember those lollipops that like the big ones, the big circle ones and mm -hmm. all different ones, but the one I'm seeing is the one that's like rainbow. Okay. Do you remember those? I do. Cause I'm seeing that. See a sweets person? No. Right, because I'm looking, I'm, it's like he's handing it to you, or me, but you. <laughs> okay. You okay? Yeah, I'm getting a little more down I gotta ask for a question. He's not giving me anything else. The fair. Did you used to go to the fair? Yes. Maybe with him, or maybe he went. I'm not sure. But yeah, heard... we did. We did. Now I'm seeing cotton candy. This fair was fun. I won't go now. <laughs> because I can see like having fun, like just as a family having fun. And eating the food and like it's kind of appropriate that he's giving that to me now because it actually does go with the message it's right there in the chat <laughs> <laughs> don't he wants you to get out there and have fun and not let life pass you by okay I'm going to do I disconnect first or should I let her tell it first? What do I do? I don't really know how to do that. I'm gonna disconnect first. That way he don't keep talking to me. <laughs> so <laughs> I was gonna back to you with love and light, Miss Glinda, okay? Okay. And before you drop now, don't don't do it yet. Just tell me how everything uh resonated for you. Okay, my ex husband, his name was Carlos. And he was in the hospital a lot because he had diabetes and he didn't take care of his son. Um, okay, that made sense. Because at one point I was like, he must have was in the hospital a lot. And I did say it because I thought it was just me making this up. <laughs> <laughs> That's ego. Um, and you said that it looked like um, it was at home in a hospital bed. Um one of the hospitals that he was in in um, North Carolina looked look like a um, looked like it would be a house, a room inside of a house. It was a very nice hospital. Um, let's see, creative. I would think would be his intelligence. He was very smart. He was a nuclear engineer, and he would plan out. Um, outages at nuclear power plants. They would bring him in before and he would plan out the whole outage. What had to be done. Um, and we did go to the fair. That was some of, some of the good times that we did have. But um, the message when you said roll with the punches, he was very abusive. So that that hit home with me, roll with the punches, because I used to have to roll with the punches. That that, that was how I heard it, like roll, roll with the punches. And I was like, OK, you got to roll with the punches, ma'am. So do what he said. <laughs> <laughs> so do what he said, Miss Glenda, roll with the punches. Don't let life pass you by, because okay. the train going to keep rolling, whether you own it or not. OK. And I think he passed when he was 53 also. You said 53. 
I think that was the age that he passed. Okay, Carlos. Okay. Alrighty, Miss Glenda. Thank you so much for participating with us. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you for allowing me in your energy, Miss Glenda. And You're welcome. Right on back with you with love and light, okay? <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you so much. Okay, Jessica, drop me down. Lord Jesus. <laughs> Where is the... Oh, it's right here. Hello? I don't know how to get down. Oh, I see. Welcome, Maya. Do you want a wheel spinner? Um, I'll do spirit lead. Spirit lead? All right. Yeah, hold on. Let me figure out how to... Set him off. Mm -hmm. Can y'all see me? Can y'all hear me? All right, cool, 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 cool. All right. Um, this is my first time doing this, so <laughs> this is Spirit Led. Hey y'all, hey, hey, hey. Um, yeah, so this is Spirit Led, so I'm just gonna tap in and see who's here. Okay, G. <laughs> Okay. First I'm seeing the number eight. I'm saying like um like I'm sitting on a pier and I see like some uh sailboats. Um for whatever reason, I don't see anything in the water. Like, it's calm. The water's calm. Um, and I'm saying it kind of like at dusk. Oh, and if it resonates, put a purple heart because I like purple. Dusk. I guess I want to say American flag on like one of the posts. See a duck? Is that the one that's white with the orange feet? Because I get them mixed up with swans. I think it's a duck. The one that's white. I'm going to be like them uh, Baptist preachers. Talk back to me now because I can't see y'all. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Now. <laughs> Okay, but I definitely see a duck. And I get the feeling like this is like a... I feel like kind of a public place, like maybe a zoo or maybe a park where a lot of people visit it. Yeah, so funny. <laughs> okay, not right now, baby. Um, does this resonate with anybody so far? I came with Earth. <laughs> Recap. Okay, I got the number eight. I got a peer. Um, girl, my son talking to. Yeah, I got the number eight. A peer. Um, there were some sailboats. 
Spirit is saying three. There were three sailboats. Um, they're kind of like parked at the pier. Um, this is like at dusk. I saw an American flag on the pier, and then I saw a duck. The duck um, looked like it would have been in a public place, like a park or a zoo or something like that. Purple hearts, if it resonates. If not, I will let it go and try for someone else. I see some typing. Possibly pull a little more. Okay, okay. Keep going. I think I'm seeing a cross, or I'm seeing something that does cross, like maybe sometimes I see this looking out a window. So where those little panes cross. Okay. Okay, I definitely do see a window with the chair sitting in front of it. The window has curtains to the side, like they... I want to say this would have been bohemian kind of, or maybe, I don't want to say old lady vibes. I don't know. <laughs> um, but it's giving me the feel of an older home. No, I'm, and I'm also seeing the cross because I feel like I see Jesus carrying the cross at this point. Like, I don't know if this would have been like artwork in the home or if this would have been a discussion that was had in this room. If no one is taking this, I might try to let it go. I'm going once, going twice. Okay. Oh, that okay. American flag. I was like, "What's the Meridian flag?" <laughs> okay, epic nurses typing. Pure boat zoo cross flag. Well, that's a lie, girl. I can only tell. Okay. I'm going to keep going uh, for you, Epic Nurse. It seems like you can take more of it. Yeah, because the, the cross and the flag together is not what I was seeing. Okay. Happy nurse, can you tell me who this is for you? I don't need a name, just like relationship. Okay, grandfather. I did get an older feel to the home, but I'm not really seeing. It's, I was going to say I'm not seeing the energy, but then as soon as I say that, I see like this man. And like a cowboy hat. And he's just. I want to say flannel. I 
and I see someone riding a horse. I'm also seeing a football helmet. I'm just trying to see what you're saying, girl. He grew up on the farm. We live in the city. Okay. See if he has a message for you. Yeah, so he's like spinning me around like... It's like we were kind of zoomed in to something, maybe a stadium or something, and then we just kind of spun back out. So what I'm taking is that I'm taking that as take a look at all of your surroundings and be aware of, like, see the bigger picture. I'm also seeing a book open. And it's definitely reading and not writing. So maybe there's something. I don't know if there's a book um, that you read or something that has been calling out to you. But I'm seeing that you need to read. And I'm seeing him read also. You used to read to him. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. I'm cold, y'all. <laughs> She loved to read and had, had me reading from the paper when I was five. That's cool. Me and my uncle did that, too. Okay, baby, go get my sweater out the room. Okay. Yep, so see the big picture. Writing and channeling at the same time is not my forte. <laughs> He was the one who raised and I lived with him during my childhood. Okay. Okay. You mean at the living room or at the room? The room, baby. Um, Thank you. I'm just saying if he has anything else to say. I was trying to see if he would give me more of his features or even his name, too. I'm saying more of a rounded face. Okay. I was oh, I forgot all about this whole coming up thing. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, girl. I just saw the, the invite part. My bad. I told y'all. This is my first time. Okay. So. Okay, how does the... um? I'm interested to hear... Oh, thank you, Ermy. Um, I'm interested to hear how the sailboats uh, and the piers resonate. Oh, okay. So, I actually... Grew up in a neighborhood just outside of downtown Chicago. So the building that we stayed in actually overlooked Lake Michigan. And we live very, very close to downtown. So we live right at the lakefront. Um, we live by this place called Navy Pier. And that was one of our favorite places to go. So we would always go to Navy Pier to see the boats. Or we would go to the beachfront to look at the boats. He really liked the outdoors. So the zoo, all of those places, like almost every picture I have with him as a child, we were outside somewhere in one of those locations. Okay. And you said, the, what about the uh, American flag? So the American flag, he was actually in the military. So he was really strong about the American history and stuff like that. And he still had his little 
little medallions and all his little flags of honor and all those types of things. Okay. Okay. Um. Also, I'm seeing him like really dark. He's reminding me of I don't know if you watched um uh the sugar queen queen sugar where um the grandfather or whatever. I should know his name because he's been in a lot of movies, but like he was dark skinned with the um not Ralph Angel, uh his daddy, Ralph Angel daddy. Yeah, he was dark. And did he have like a white low cut beard? Um and- he, at certain points in his life he did. He used to keep his beard a little longer. And um did he have like a rounded face? He did. So he was like always medium build. Yep. When he was in his healthier, like younger years, as I remember him, he carried more weight and he did have a round face. Okay. Okay. Y'all funny. Ralph Angel is fine. Um <laughs> Okay, but I can actually see him. So for those of y'all my classmates that um y'all saw me channeling in the beginning, I had to like cover my eyes. To like channel, I can now like see people with my eyes open or closed. So come on, growth. But anyway, um, I thank you for allowing me to connect with your grandfather. I'm going to release him back to you with love and light, and I call back my energy as well. Thank you. You did an awesome. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna step down. If I can figure out how. Okay, I'm trying to get down from here, y'all. Hi, everyone. Hey, hey, twin. All right. Well, as most of you know, um, I'm Sarah. Um, and I go by Daisy in the dawn, which is hilarious. I didn't realize I was wearing my Daisy shirt today. Okay, so I was getting really nervous, but I also started getting really warm during like everyone else reading so i was like you know what i'm just gonna channel because if i'm getting warm someone's with me um and just like any open mic night for like music you already have like your set list ready so i already got some ones um so (laughs) this is if it resonates uh let's put let's see just put a pink heart if it resonates with you guys actually a daisy put a daisy if you have a daisy if it resonates Okay, so the very first thing that I saw when um, I was channeling was a pearl necklace. Um, And then I was like really trying to see what else. And then it felt like I had an older Caucasian male. Um, He definitely gave me grandfather vibes. Uh, When I asked what his name was, he gave me a G name kind of like George or Jeff. Um, Then I had asked him how old he was and I got the feeling of like in his seventies, but like late seventies. So like 77 ish. I had asked when he had passed and I got the month of March. Um, I felt like I got kind of cold when I asked that and it kind of like, and then I saw the number three. So I just, for me here, where I am, March is like very snowy. So that's, I just was like, okay, March. Then um, I started getting really bad uh, stomach pains. Um, So I had asked if this is something, if this is how he had passed, if he had issues with his stomach. And I got the feeling that that's what happened. And then I started getting nauseous. So I'm wondering if 
there was some sort of like um, stomach cancer or just something else going on that was um, the cause of his passing. Um, I, I uh, then it felt like when I asked, I was like, okay, so we'll, we'll, when is your birthday? And I saw the number six. So June automatically for me. And I had asked if he has any children and that I saw the number two. So he has two children. Um, and there's that. So then I'm like, okay. And I was kind of having an issue of kind of like really getting more. And then I just like let go and was like, ego, get out of here. And it felt like he was from the South. And when I asked what he had, what he did, um, I got the feeling of like a coach or a teacher, but also like I, he was very motivational. And then um, after I had felt that, I immediately saw like a whistle. So I was like, okay, that he was possibly a coach. And then, first of all, I should ask, I'm so sorry. I'm just, I'm reading all my notes and I just keep going. ADHD brain, I didn't even check to see. Is, is this resonating with anyone so far? If you need me to repeat everything, I will. Oh, Maya. Okay. Okay. Um, quick question, Maya. Have you been seeing a lot of birds lately? Do you want to come up? Oh, you have? Okay. Um, hey girl, hey. Hi. Yay. Okay. Yay. Uh, I heard coach, teacher, motivational speaker, whistle, all of that resonated. And then someone singing their months of the year. So I kind of missed most of what you said before that. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, no, mm -hmm. I can totally go over it again. Okay. Um, so it felt like a grandfather or okay. like a grandfather vibe. It felt like an older gentleman. I didn't get to see what he looked like, but I just felt like he was older. Um, and he gave me like a G name or like George or like Jeff. I know that sometimes Jeff is spelled G E O F F. Mm -hmm. which is weird. I don't know. Anyways. Uh, so I got that. Um, I had asked him how old, um, he was, and I got like late seventies. It was like 70. 77 ish. Um, and then March is when I felt like he had passed. Um, then it felt like I had, my stomach started hurting and I started getting nauseous and it felt like that that was a cause. Uh, one of the reasons why he had passed and it felt like it was possibly like stomach cancer. And June is when it felt like I saw the number six for his birthday. And I asked if he had any children, and I got the number two. And then from the south. Okay. Um, six didn't resonate off the top, but pretty much everything else did. He was, instead of him being born in March, though, or passing in March, he passed in January, and he was born in April. Um, oh, okay, okay. Um, um, um. Yeah, but the grandfather energy, he always wanted me to call him grandfather, but this is my uncle. Again, just shows up every single time. <laughs> um, of course, coach, teacher, motivational. Um, funny that you, you said 77 because my granny is actually 77. Um, that could have been the G. Okay. Mm -hmm. and it's, it is your number for school it's his number for school okay yeah no 77 was like literally I felt like late 70s and then 77 I just saw it just popped in my head so that's crazy mm -hmm. it's crazy so, so what do you, you want to say now <laughs> well, what? you have been seeing a lot of birds lately yeah yeah, he is letting you know that that's his way of showing you that he's there. 
I mean, you always knew he was there around you, but it was just like more confirmation to be like, no, that's me. Mm -hmm. Let her know. Um, Specifically eagles and hawks. Hey, those are good birds to see. Mm -hmm. Did he gift anyone like a pearl necklace? Because that was the very first thing that I saw. Yeah. uh, It would have been... I don't know if he got it directly for me or if he got it from my aunt and then I um, kept it. Yup, Kales, the Hawks. Um, yeah. But okay. they would, he would have bought the pearl necklace either for me, yeah. I don't remember because when she passed, I got some of her jewelry. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. I literally, that like, it was very, I closed my eyes and that's what I saw. And I was like, what the pearl necklace? Okay, cool. <laughs> so we got that. And then I asked for a message if this, if this loved one had a message for anyone and I got, I kept hearing, like I'm not hearing, but I kept like feel like unlock, unlock, unlock. And then I heard love yourself. Mm. So, um, I don't know if you're having a hard time loving yourself lately. Not a Um, hard time, but just keeping it at the forefront of my mind. Cause there's some people that try to make me not. (laughs) Yeah. Well, ignore them and that's not hilarious but it's crazy that you say that because i also felt like i wanted to say like sorry for swearing everyone i'm a big i'm a i have a really bad uh, sailor's mom Um, fuck what anyone else even thinks about how you're trying to live your life you live for you and you need to like just love yourself unconditionally with no apology like unapologetic so that's kind of what i just got goosebumps for confirmation so Mm -hmm. um just remember that and yeah because you're a badass and oh thank you girl <laughs> you're, just, you're just a badass so and, we love you. and i i'm i'm happy i was able to do this for you so i send him back with love and light and i bring my energy back to me and thank you so much i was so nervous thank you but you did great well thank you thank you thank you <laughs> all right I don't know how to get down. You, you press the down button. The person with the down arrow. I don't see that. All right. That's all for tonight. Thanks for coming, everyone. Thank you to Tiffany, Tanya, Maya, and Sarah for channeling for us tonight. Have a good night, y'all.